Pakak! Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Demi. You'll be hearing me speaking in Tagalog more often because I realized for the past few videos, I don't have a lot Tagalog. So today's video is a continuation from last week's video. Here are some places that I didn't include in my video. So let's get started. The first one on my list is Tsukiji Fish Market. Tsukiji? Tsukiji? I don't know pronunciation. I don't know. I feel like it's a hassle to go here because you need to be so early. You're like, you're here for relax and you're going to be here at 5am or 4am so you can see the auctions in a long day. Next, I didn't include Odaiba. I think it's really overrated. There's nothing much to do and there's too much walking. You know, in the Philippines, we're not going to be able to walk. We're going to be able to walk. We're going to be able to walk. Jeep. Jeep. We're going to be able to walk. We're going to be able to walk. Then, Pagdating dito sa Japan, puro lakad. Lalo na itong Odaiba na ito. Ang dami mong nalalakad dito. Another thing I didn't include uh, is the gardens because it's seasonal. If it's not the right season to go there, then it's kind of pointless because you won't really see much. So kung ayaw nyo ba disappoint, huwag nila kayo pumunta, di ba? Another thing I didn't include would be the shrines. I didn't include those because I think that Kyoto has better shrines. I get so easily bored. Pag nakita ko na isa, parang feeling ko nakita ko na lahat. So parang, uh, ano pong point? Next, I didn't include uh, castles as well in Tokyo because for the same reason I didn't mention the shrines, I think that there are better castles apart from the ones in Tokyo such as Himeji Castle which is not which is not in Tokyo. I also didn't include the Imperial Palace. Alright, don't kill me. I know that the Imperial Palace is a historical place to go to, la la la. But if you're not part of any tour groups, it's really just, you just see a castle, you're not allowed to go inside. So, ano na, naglakad ka na lang, nagpicture ka para lang masabi na nakapunta ka Imperial Palace. Hindi huwag na lang. Oh my god, naman ang pinagsasabi ko. But that's it, I didn't include it. The next one I didn't include... Oh my god, people are gonna kill me for this. I also don't think it's worth it to go to Disneyland and Disney Sea. Wait for it! Let me explain! I didn't include this because I think it's really, really not worth it. Yeah, if you're a diehard Disney fan, then yeah, sure, go for Disneyland. But I am warning you, it is jam-packed and you... I don't think you'll be able to ride a lot of rides. Just because this isn't my thing, I didn't include Ebis Garden Place. Because one, it's really expensive to eat there and to drink there. Two, there's not much to do. I think they have the photography museum there, but I don't think that would be in the top 10 list, to be honest. This next one I didn't include because I've never been there personally. I did include Golden Guy because I don't think I've been there. Have I been there? I don't even know. I'm not sure. I think I've been there, but I'm not really sure. I don't remember it. So that's how unmemorable it is. Last but not the least is Roppongi Hills. People say you should go to Roppongi Hills to see nice architecture and stuff like that. For me, mm, it's okay. It's alright. Not my thing. Nothing special. There's just this. Yeah. Hello, ang nega pala nitong video na to. Parang dinidiss ko yung mga places. Pero hindi ko talaga siya na dinidiss, guys. Ina-explain ko lang kung bakit hindi sila nakasama sa top 10 list ko. So yeah, those are the 10 things I didn't include in my top 10 sightseeing places in Tokyo. So if you have any other place that you think should be part of the top 10 list, just comment it. Comment it down below, and if you disagree with anything I just said, then sure you can comment that as well. What I want to know is what exactly do you want to see when you go to Tokyo? What do you expect when you come here in Tokyo? I hope you can tell me that down below in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching until the very end of this video. I hope to see you guys again next week. Bye!